and you just have a look at the picture. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are well. So today I am coming back to you guys with a makeup video. Yeah, that's that's where today is going. I felt like I haven't done one in a long time, so I thought I would just sit down and I would do one just like the old times. Why not? <laughs> So yeah, as you can see, uh, my hair is pink. If you haven't seen the video of where I dyed it, I'll leave that linked below so you can go watch that. But I'm absolutely loving it at the moment. I, it is Friday and Saturday and I did it on Wednesday. Yeah. No, Tuesday. What did I do? Tuesday. Yeah, I dyed it Tuesday evening. So yeah, this is how it's looking. Um, we also have a friend with us today. We have little Porgy. He always sits with me whenever I'm in my room getting ready. He's always by my side, he's always asleep on me, so he's just attached to me. He's like my shadow, but also having Isaac is literally like having my own child, so that's fun. Isn't it, Bobby? He's just sat here like, what are you making me do? What are you making me do? Normally I would be sat at my desk with my camera up there, but I'm on the floor today just because I'd rather sit on the floor. I'd rather just do my makeup like this. This is how I normally do my makeup, sat on the floor. And I thought I'd do a makeup video just because for Christmas I got two new palettes, which I'll show you. So we got the Beauty Bay Book of Magic one, which is these stunning colors. I really wanted them because I loved the shimmers in here. And then I also got the Nikki Tutorials pressed pigment palette which I just used this yesterday but I've already used this purple blue and this color here and I use these two quite a lot for like transition shades and things like that as well so we're gonna be doing probably something fun and creative I haven't done that in a very long time so I'm just gonna get into the video because I'm just rambling on now and it sounds crazy so I'm first gonna go in and prep the skin for that I'm using the Charlotte's magic cream from Charlotte Tilbury as well I did do a video on this. Okay, so I have just put a bit on my camera just to die for a second then. This Charlotte Tilbury cream, um, you don't need a lot, but like I just love a lot of moisture. I use like the tiniest little bits. I did do a full review on Charlotte Tilbury products on my channel a few months ago. I will leave that linked below as well. So you can check that out or I'll leave a link to it at the end of this video. You know where you can go and view it. And ever since I got it, I've been obsessed with it. I did also get some more for Christmas from my mum. I'm happy about that because even though I've had it a few months, it's not run out yet. But it's always good to just have a backup. And I only use a 30 mil, I think it is. Now I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Super Dewy Perfecting Putty Primer. And... I never use primers, but since I started using this, it's insane. Like I I would always try and find primers that worked really well and actually did what they said. And any other primer that I've used prior never actually work until I came across this. And this honestly fills in my pores so much. Like I'm actually obsessed with how much it fills them in. I've never seen such a flawless reaction after using this also it comes with like a little spatula so that's good and then i just like to focus it around my nose just because this is where i have most of my pores I mean, it does feel very velvety like gives your skin like quite a velvet touch which is nice and some primers normally like kind of roll on the skin around any dead skin but this doesn't and it just feels really nice i don't know if you can actually see i'm probably going delusional thinking you can see but whatever okay so for my eyebrows i'm going to use two different things i'm going to firstly go in with the nyx precision brow pencil in espresso and then i'm going in after with the morphe brow cream in java because recently i don't use this all the time i kind of just use this pencil because my brows have been growing quite a bit recently i've been using the sally beauty serum and just look at that growth there like it's insane like it's so good can you just see that grow? So I need to get a new one because I'm really running low. I'm just gonna fill in my brows. So I kind of just lightly fill it in with pencil and then go over it to make them just a little bit darker with the pomade. But you can already see how it's giving a little bit of a shape. I'm just gonna do this in this eyebrow. Okay, so my tactic is I'm literally just gonna leave it now. Like, I don't wanna ruin it. So I'm just gonna go in with concealer to clean them up.
Okay, so I completely forgot to mention what I was using. Um, I'm going in with the Book of Magic palette and I've just taken Sorcery on the M433 brush. Um, I'm now going in with an M456 brush and I'm taking Enchanted just to blend it all out. And I'm wanting to kind of like bring it out, make this like really glittery and pretty. I just think using a lighter shade will really help to just pull it all together. And I'm just going to take an M441 brush and just blend all that out. I have just taken a little bit of sorcery back on the brush just to kind of blend it all together as well. Don't worry about this, we'll bring it out with concealer lighter. I'm just gonna take Voodoo on a clean M456 brush, just pat it in the corner, just to deepen everything up a little bit more. This is a really pretty purple color. I've gotta say, these colors are very, very pigmented. Like, I've used Beauty Bear palettes before, and some of the colors, are like highly pigmented some of them aren't but when it comes to i know like with browns and stuff they do really well but sometimes with their colors in other palettes they're just not as bright but with beauty bear literally all of their colors are the best like i have the going out out palette and that's an insane palette like i've never seen such bright shimmery shades and pressed pigments and things like that like I have in that palette before it's just incredible I use it like all the time I used to take it everywhere with me but since I can't really go out I hardly use a lot of makeup palettes anymore which is upsetting because I just want a night out I just want an excuse to kind of just like dress up again you know what I mean is that too much for a girl to ask for I just keep going back in with the dark purple just to kind of deepen it up and set it all in place. Make sure it gives that nice contrast of kind of like a smoky look. And I know that when everything's kind of pulled together with like all the shimmer and the glitter and everything, it'll look real nice. Blending it out with kind of like whatever's left over on the M433 brush, sorry, um, with sorcery on it. Whatever is kind of left over from when we did our eyelids on with a 224 brush. I'm just kind of going to go in with it just to kind of lighten it up a little bit. I don't want to cut the crease, but I don't want to put anything over kind of a dark base. Then I'm gonna go in with an M166 brush and I'm gonna take Charmed, I think that's what it's called, and just start to pat that on. Anytime I do shimmers, I love to bring it up in the inner third. Just like that, I love that kind of effect. I'm just gonna drag it out as well onto the outer third. Just gonna take clean M441 just to blend through any glitter. And then I'm gonna just take the clean M433 with a bit of charmed on it. And I am actually gonna mix it with a little bit from the Nikki Tutorials palette with Pride because these two colors together are just beautiful. I had them on my eyes yesterday. Blend it in the outer third just really lightly but just connecting back to the shimmer we put in. Can you kind of see that? These two palettes that I'm using are both by Beauty Bear, so the Nikki Tutorials is in collaboration with Beauty Bear. And then obviously this Book of Magic one is just by Beauty Bear. 
love shimmery colors. Literally just dragging it all the way through. I'm gonna take a bit more of just pride on its own and just drag it through and blend it with what we already have of Charmed. Then I am just gonna go back in with the Erase and Boost base and the M224 brush we had. And I'm just going to clean it all up. And then just whilst that is like that, I'm just gonna blend out these edges here. Going back with some of Pride, just on the ends. I just don't feel like there's enough. And I'm just gonna take the flat end of this Beauty Blender and just blend it all out. Okay, so I've been doing this trick for foundation quite some time so what you do is you take your concealer and you can't tell you do that first then you do your foundation so i'm gonna take my concealer first which is the charlotte tilbury magic away liquid concealer that i actually need to buy more of what i am gonna do is i'm also going to mix it with my revolution conceal and hydrate concealer in c3 and just apply that over the top as well double the coverage ladies just bring that down so i'm just gonna take my beauty blender and blend this all together before we do the contour sometimes if i'm like tan enough i will go for just concealer and the contour, but kind of like slightly tone it down a little bit, just so it's not too drastic. But sometimes they are the best days, like foundation free days. So, and I look like a crazy person right now. I'm gonna bring back some color into my life by taking the Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite concealer in C13. I'm also just going to spray a bit of the Morphe and Madison Fear setting spray. It does smell amazing though. So I'm just gonna go in with this, just wipe off any excess. Then just gonna go back in with my beauty blender and blend it all out. Just until you have a little something like this and you will look a little bit crazy. So I'm gonna take two foundations because I'm still in the stage of like tan but not it's kind of fading um so i'm gonna take the airbrush flawless foundation and mix it with a little bit of the revolution pro cc perfecting foundation in f0.2 so i just put at least like two pumps on the back of my hand with the charlotte tilbury and then one of the cc cream and i'm just gonna mix it with my well this doesn't have one but it's this little flat foundation concealer brush from morphe also i just want to say i'm obsessed with olivia rodrigo's new song driver's license i think everybody is basing uh, it off tiktok um but yeah i'm absolutely obsessed with it i think one day i might also try the tiktok trend of the what is it like where you rub foundation with your fingers just because i mean I never do that, but I'd like to do it just to try it out. But I also don't like getting foundation on my hands or on my fingers. So I'm just blending it down my neck as well. I'm always very careful around the forehead and the eyes. Just because I don't want to ruin what I've done with the eyebrows or the ends of the eyeshadow. And then just with a clean blending brush just gonna blend out the corners real lightly just so it's not too harsh 
So I do need to just powder or else everything will move and I hit a big dewy face. I'm taking a contour brush from Real Techniques and I'm just going under and setting under the eyes and just around here as well. I do need to get around my nose quite a bit because I get quite an oily nose where foundation just doesn't stir. With the trick of contour underneath, you can kind of still see it, but I do like to go over just with a powder as well. I'm just gonna take my Hoola bronzer from Benefit and the little brush that comes inside. I always use this brush. I don't use any other brush now. And I start here and just lightly brush up and then blend it in. Sometimes I never know how like girls can use cooler and it look really nice because on me it never looks that nice. I probably will sort the lighting out in editing so it won't look as crazy. And now for nose contour I literally just take the same brush put some on here and I literally just go like that just down the center of the nose back and forth. It worked one day really well and looked really nice. And then just a little bit of powder down the side of the nose. Just to finish off the nose contour, I'm going with blush. I haven't looked in the mirror yet, so don't judge me, but I'm going in with the Revolution Pro 4K blush palette and taking numbers one and four. And I start on here and then pull it in. I think the one thing that could benefit this is having a mirror inside because having no mirror is difficult. I love a palette with a mirror. Let's go over the center a little bit. And I like to just put a bit of blush around the temples as well, just because it adds a nice little bit of warmth. And just to make sure that it's not too harsh, I just go over with whatever's left on the powder brush. And then we take a Morphe M506 brush or highlighter. I use one in the Madison Beer palette. This is one of my all time favorite palettes for just a nice, soft, everyday look. And I'm just gonna take the second shade in here. I've forgotten what it's called, but we move. And I'm just gonna put it on the end of my nose and just here. And I'm lightly applying it in the inner third of my eye just to lighten it up a tiny little bit, but not a lot. And just on my lip. Keep it up and under my chin. Tiniest little stroke under the eyebrow. And then I get a bigger brush. Get the bigger M501 brush, but I mix it in with a little bit of the gold as well that we've got. Cause on my cheeks, I don't really like a very white highlight. I kind of like a nice subtle bronzy one. So that's what we're going for right now. I'm now gonna take an M431 brush and just take all the purple shades just underneath a little bit. So I'm gonna take Voodoo first, just because it's our darkest shade underneath the eyes, very lightly. And then I'm just gonna wipe off any excess and go in with Sorcery. And then wipe off that and go in with Enchanted just to pull it all together. And then last but not least, we're gonna mix both Pride and Charm together and just get the inner third. Looks so pretty and glittery. Then I'm just gonna go in with my collection Fast Stroke Defining Lash Mascara. I've been using that serum that I use for my eyebrows as well on my eyelash because it's a lash and brow serum. My eyelashes have really grown as well. I don't know if I'm gonna put lashes on it. I if I'm just gonna leave it at uh, mascara. You can see the length of my lashes. I'm just move the camera up a bit because I'm sitting on my knees now, trying not to get cramped. But yeah, I'm not gonna put any eyelashes on, I don't think. I really like how it is at the moment. But now all I have to do is put on a lip liner. So I don't actually know which one I'm gonna go pick. So choice of lip liners today are Barry M's chocolate lip liner and NYX 
the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Sandstorm. These two have literally been like my all time favourites for a long time now. I'm just going to start with chocolate in the middle, just like that. And then I'm going to take Sandstorm and add a third. I'm going to go in with Cape Town from NYX. This is the soft matte liquid lipstick. So I was gonna go and use my buttercream lip gloss from NYX, but instead we're gonna use the Revolution clear gloss. Just on the center. And then I'm just gonna take my hair out of this. Spray a little bit of dry shampoo on it to give it some volume. I kind of like how this has turned out here. We'll most likely put my iron plaits anyway, but this is the finished look. So if you have enjoyed this video guys, then please give it a huge thumbs up. Also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below so you never miss a post and also hit all notifications because when you click the bell it just clicks personalized and you don't get all the notifications you only get a few and also comment down below let me know what you think uh, if you've enjoyed this if you want a few more makeup videos because i haven't done them in quite a long time all my social media links will be in the description below as well as the videos that i've mentioned in this video so you can go check them out and yeah i will see you next week bye